The Madrid Open final is set between Andre Rublev and Felix Olja Alisame. We'll get his pronunciation right one day, but I'm pretty sure that's as good as he's going to get from me. And my prediction of Rublev winning the Madrid Open is coming to fruition, albeit I only predicted that from the quarterfinal or the semifinal onwards. But it is his tournament to lose. He is the most experienced player out of the current players. But the real story is, well, Rublev is happy for once and he's smiling on the court, which is nice to see. But the real story is the injuries. What is going on in Madrid? First up, we got here a tweet from Oli Tennis. Felix's run to the Madrid Open final. Two retirements and a walkover. Of course, it's not his fault though. You can only play who's in front of you. So first up, he had a win over Manorino and then a retirement for Menchik. He beat Kasper Root in straight sets, which is to date his biggest win on a clay court. Unless you can't, Yannick Sinner technically, that doesn't go to the head-to-head record. But a walkover there. And then a retirement in the early stages of the match against Yuri Lahechka. So a bit of a different tournament for Felix. But you can only play who's in front of you. So well done to him. Lahechka tweeting here. Devastated to finish my first Masters 1000 semi-final this way. Still a lot of positive things to take away from this tournament. Thanks for your messages. We'll bounce back. And he will. He's still very, very young. He's actually a pretty sure younger than Sinner in that 21, 22-year-old category, I'm pretty sure. So he's got... A lot of tennis in front of him. Tune up and be proud of yourself. You had a great tournament. Speedy recovery, Yuri. Only negative for him. As the commentator suggested on the broadcast, he's actually injured that back, which actually he's been having problems with in his past. So hopefully he hasn't aggravated any potential past injuries and he can be back for Roland Garros. And actually just coming back briefly to those injuries, it's something going on on the tennis tour. The balls are changing too often. The racket technology, perhaps it's too much stress or some sort of tension on the joints, on the shoulders, on the elbows. This might have to be looked into. Too many injuries, especially for some young players coming to one of the biggest tournaments of the year in Roland Garros French Open. Grand Slam. It's not good. Perhaps it should be looked into. Why has there been so many injuries in Madrid? Who knows? We need the best players playing. So hopefully whatever problems are attributing to this problem can be sorted out because I know one of the problems is definitely changing the balls every week. So that would be my two cents for the problem. My solution to half of the problem, but we'll see. And looking at the injuries, not only today with Yiri, but also with Sina, with Alcaraz, with Medvedev. Novak reacting to the Madrid Open debacle. He's plotting something, isn't he? What is he plotting? What is he cooking? Maybe he was right to skip Madrid. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for that. If I do, that'll be a problem, but we'll see. But the point is, what is Djokovic cooking? Perhaps he was right to skip Madrid. Perhaps it's more about keeping your body fresh and ready for Roland Garros and Wimbledon and the Olympics. It's not about winning these tournaments, is it? No one really cares in the end who wins these tournaments unless you're a bit of an outsider. And in other news... This is disgusting, as Jose or Jose Morgado says. Someone has destructed the Nadal Alcaraz mural in Madrid already. I saw this the other day and I didn't post about it, but it is quite devastating to see. And you know what? We don't want to see this in tennis. It's a beautiful mural made recently in preparation for the Madrid Open. And hopefully it can be fixed up and ready in time for Roland Garros, I guess, just for Nadal's farewell. I'm sure it'll be fixed up very quickly, but you know what? Some people in the world who just don't like to have fun. I guess this is why we can't have good things. But moving back to that Alcaraz, Sina, Medvedev, Lehechka injuries, it's really opening a door for someone different to play well in Rome and potentially Roland Garros. Who knows? Maybe it's an outsider. We're saying we're joking about Djokovic. He is going to be one of the favorites as always, but you never know. Perhaps if Rublev can get into a bit of form, as proven in Madrid, you never know. And it'll be interesting to see who can win in these upcoming tournaments and tomorrow night in Madrid. But for now, that's all, and we'll see what happens. Until next time.